Hello, this video is a guide for setting up Google Classroom on desktop devices. Ideally, you need to use Google Chrome for this as this is the school's preferred browser. Once you've opened it up, you want to click on sign in on the top right hand side. And here you're going to enter your TWS username. So click on use another account if you've already got one signed in and then you're going to put in TWS and then you're going to put in the year you started at school, which for current year sevens is 20, a full stop, the first letter of your first name, all of your surname, and that's going to be at swale, S-W-A-L-E dot A-T. You're going to click on the next button. And then you're going to enter your password. If you're not sure what this is, you can either speak to your mentor or email the email address at the end of this video. So click on next. And this will now log you into Google. So your Google Chrome account is set up. You're going to click on what we call the waffle in the top right hand side. And this will bring down some of your Google options. You want to click on Google Classroom. Now this will now load your classes. So every class that you take at the school will have a classroom set up. And you can see here there's pictures of the teachers you have. There is also subject codes and the name of the teacher. You'll also see some of them have got uh, assignments written underneath so like due Friday, due Saturday and these are the assignments. What we're going to do um, in today's session is just show you how you can submit a couple of assignments. The good thing about this Google Classroom mode is that you can arrange your classes so you can do it in the order of your timetable or however you prefer alphabetical you can move them around just click and drag them and then you can put them in on in the order. So this is your classroom stream here you'll see um, all the posts that have been made by your teacher and all of your assignments all in one place. So here you can see Mr. Davies has written a couple of posts with information. You can leave comments on these. These comments are seen by your teacher and your class, so do be careful what you say. Some teachers may also decide to turn this functionality off, so you may not always see it there. You'll also see the two assignments above. And you also have the classwork tab, so all of your classwork materials and assignments will show in here. You also have the people tab, which shows you your teachers and also the classmates. So looking back at the stream, I'm going to show you how you can submit an assignment in here. In this one, you're going to attach work that you've completed yourself. So you'll see the add or create section. You've also got a private comment section. Now this is useful if you want to clarify a piece of work with your teacher, because these comments can only be seen between you and the teacher. Teachers also leave feedback via this route sometimes. So it's a great way to communicate them without the rest of your classmates seeing. There is also a class comments feature. So again, if there's something that needs clarifying on an assessment that you think will be beneficial to the class, you can leave a comment here and it'll be seen by everyone. To attach work, you're gonna click on the add or create button and you'll see you have multiple options here. You can attach things from your Google Drive. You can add links, files. You have Google Docs, which is like Microsoft Word. Google Slides, which is like Microsoft PowerPoint. Google Sheets, which is like Microsoft Excel. And Drawings, which is a little bit like Paint. For this experiment, I'm going to show you a Google Doc. So when you click on it, it will create a document and it'll automatically open it up in Google Docs. You're able to use all of the tools in here. I'm just going to very quickly write a few words just to demonstrate what to do. The great thing about the Google Suite is it automatically saves your work. So you'll see here it says save to drive. That way you don't have to remember about saving it regularly. So if you close it down now, the work will save. So I click on it again and open it up. You'll see that the text I just wrote is here. You can add in tables, you can change the font, you can do all sorts of editing in here. You have much more functionality than you would do on mobile or tablet devices. And again, you can always check that save to see it's saved to drive. Once you've finished it, just close it down and always click on the hand in button. This way it will move, remove it from your to-do list and your teacher will be able to see that you've done the work. Once you're happy, click on the link for the classroom to go back to the main stream. And you can see now it's greyed out where you've done the work. If you click on the three lines at the top, this will take you to your menu and crucially to your to-do list. This is where all assignments that have been set for you will show in their due date order. This is a really useful tool to be able to plan your evenings so you know exactly what's due for which subject. You have a missing tab, so if you miss the deadline for a piece of work, you can still submit it later on if you're able to. And once you've completed work, it will show here. So this is the one we've just done, and it's now showing in our done tab. Back to the assigned one and going to the no due date, we're gonna do a second assignment. 
In this case, a worksheet or a workbook's already been assigned to you and you need to complete it. So you're not attaching your own work this time. So what you do is you click on it. So you see your name there and you'll see what it is. And it's going to open up in whatever it's been set in. So in this case, it's a Google Slides document. I'm going to go to one of the slides. And again, you have full functionality in here. So you can edit directly into the slides. You can add new slides. You can delete things. So I'm just going to put in a line of text. Again, you'll see it's saved to drive is showing, so you know it automatically saves. So if I close this down and reopen it and go back to that second slide, you can see the uh, text is still there that I added. Close it down again. Always remember to hand in, but you can also add more documents or more supporting evidence if you'd like to. So hand in, that clears it from your to-do list and also informs your teacher that you've completed the work. Going back to that menu and back to your to-do list, you'll see now it's gone from our assign tab and it's now showing in our done tab. So it's under the no due date section and it shows handed in. So again, clicking back on the menu button, back to your classes, you can view all of your classes. Hopefully this demonstration has been useful. If you have any issues accessing Google Classroom, please do email us using TWS underscore Google help at swale.at and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you.